Neil and Sam, super awesome mega radio show. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Neil and Sam's super mega radio show. We've got quite a lot to talk about. We've got many new features. The music is making an appearance again. Oh yeah. Cookery with Neil, that's me. Um, uh, uh, faces with Grant. Grant has just left the building, so that feature may not happen. <laughs> um, we've got materials compared. This is a, an interesting feature where we discuss. The, the the basically the merits and and the pros and cons of different materials for different uses in different things sounds exciting it sounds extremely exciting uh, we've got a lot to talk about so uh, let's let's get on with it um, yes well uh, there was uh, me and Sam had a bit of an incident yesterday that we should oh yeah we should, we should talk probably about. mention it yeah do, do you want to do you want to talk about this Sam or should uh, I carry on talking about I this? will talk about it if you would if I would you, like you to like about me to talk about it. Uh, yeah we uh we went down the shops, you know. We did. It's just a normal thing that people do, go down the shops all the time. But uh, It's quite normal. It's, it's quite normal, yeah. But I've done I, it before myself. <laughs> have you? No, no. Uh, no. Yeah, but on the way home, uh, something rather unpredictable happened, and it started hailing like a bitch. So uh, we... Uh, like we, a shit. We decided to take cover, as, as you would, probably, if you were caught in a hailstorm. And there was a church just up the road, and... Uh, Neil was like, "Oh yeah, let's let's uh, <laughs> let's run into the church. Let's go and let's go and hide out in the church." So we we're like, "Yeah, all right." For, for uh, our for our international listenership, um, a church <laughs> is a religious building dedicated to the the following of Christianity. It is indeed. Thank you, Neil. That was made of stone. Uh, but uh, yeah, we uh, Neil started running, and I was like, "Shit!" Uh, and then I followed and. We tried to get in the church, and it was it was hailing really bad. And then we went into the graveyard, because we couldn't find the way in. <laughs> <laughs> and we basically just ran in a circle in the graveyard. Looping, trying to <laughs> screaming, <laughs> panicking, running around the graveyard. Uh, and, and that was basically our day yesterday. Uh, yeah. Just running around the graveyard. That insanely. shit happens to us all the time. It's, it's, to be honest, it's really quite normal. Yeah. Um, what features should we go on to? We've got quite a lot of features to get through, but I'm not sure... I don't know how... Any of these features are going to work, if they're going to work, if they're going to be boring, if they're going to be utterly shit. Probably just, they'll be utterly yeah. shit. Well, like most of the stuff we do. Uh, okay, <laughs> should, we, should, we, should we go on to a little advert break? A little advert break? Everyone likes a good advert. Okay. God, I, I've had enough of apples in my life. I've always eaten apples, put them in my mouth and chewed, and they're just not quite bitter or sour enough, and it's horrible, and I don't like it anymore. This sounds like a common problem. Everyone has this problem, and we have the solution. It's lemons. So, so uh, what is a lemon? Well, a lemon is quite a nice fruit. <laughs> it's like an apple, but shit. You're a fucking asshole. <laughs> I fucking hate you. Do you want to get, get in the advert? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, we're back. Back. We're back. back, back. We're back. That wasn't us. That was a uh, our, our sponsors. We're sponsored by different companies that make different products. And uh, uh, we, we, like last last week, we had machines. The, these are our sponsors. They make adverts for us. We just put them on our show yeah. in order to sort of to to, to un unlock the funding that they provide by us advertising for them. So if if these adverts turn out to be utterly wank, then it's, it's it, not it, really it's our, not fault. our fault. It's their fault. So. Uh, so, sorry, lemons, but fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, lemons. Fuck lemons. And, uh, and if, life lives, if, if life gives you lemons, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, materials compared. Let's have a jingle. Let's have a jingle. A jingle. Oh. Let's have a jingle. Materials compared. Material compared. The comparison of materials. In logical steps. Okay, so so uh, there's uh, you may have noticed there's quite a lot of materials in the world that uh, that are used for different things. For instance, oh, I hope you out desks usually made of wood. Yeah. Screens for computers made of uh, generally plastic. Uh, metal objects um, usually made of metal. <laughs> <laughs> are they? I thought they were made of plastic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck! <coughs> Sam, talk. I can't oh, talk. Oh, uh, uh, 
Neil's, oh. Neil's uh, been given too many blowjobs, so he's, uh, oh. he's got a bit of a sore throat. Oh, gosh. Uh, <laughs> glass, glass is another material. Glass is a material. Yeah. Glass is a material. Um, yeah. Um, Windows but, are usually made from glass. From glass, yeah, but um, what, what, what I'd like to talk about here is what other, what, what other materials could you use for things that are made of one particular material? For instance, could you have a wooden window, Sam? We're just trying to educate I, the I, listenership I, I, I think a wooden window is quite possibly a door. Uh, or a shutter. Well, no, because what, what, what are the traits of a window? What makes a window a window? What makes you well, a uh, window yeah. licker? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, there's many things that make me a window licker, Neil. Well, we'll answer the first question. That's the, probably the main one oh, okay. I to answer. Uh, yeah, but I, I don't want to answer that. that. Was a I jibe. want to answer the window. That was a one. jibe. That was, you know, a, yeah. a witty jibe. Okay. Okay, uh, what, what makes a window a window? Uh, call in. Trans- <laughs> yeah, call in. Let us know what you think. <laughs> What makes a window a window? We'd okay. like to hear your thoughts. I'm going to jump in with a window. It's something you can see through and open. Yes. I will repeat, see through and open. But if you've got anything you want to add to that, yep. please it's feel free to try and contact us somehow. duper interesting discussion topic. Um, so, yeah. uh, oh, uh, but while we're uh, on the subject... Of what? Of, of windows. Something completely different that I'm going to mention. That's not on the subject. <laughs> I know. Oh, right. I'm just going to mention it. it. We, don't wanna, we don't want to ruin uh, our, we, we, the listening yeah. experience for our listeners. They want logical steps. We've got uh, a few apologies that we need to make. We uh, do, yeah, from we our, do. From our, last, from our last broadcast. I'll, um, uh, and uh, Neil, I'll, I think Neil was the, the, the main uh, protagonist... Okay, I'm going to address. So I, I, I think I think Neil should uh, make the uh, make the uh, apology. So I'll hand it over to you, Neil. Okay, um, as as our listenership will be fully aware, last week, uh, last, last on our last episode, the next episode, we were well, I was quite quite um, quite offensive to a lot of different people, <laughs> including roller derby players. They're not gaggles of whores, but, but they are a little bit slutty. Um, we we got we got a phone in from the Pope. Um, he uh, Catholicism. We need to apologise to. Mm. We're, good old we're, Frankie. We're, good old Frankie Pope. Um, he, he he rung in. He said he said you're doing a good job, guys. Your, your radio show is exactly what I want to be hearing. It is a bit like you're shitting in our Christian ears, but that's what we like. That's what we want from a radio show. He says keep up the good work, but could you please turn it down on the on the sort of religious front? So we apologise for that. We meant you no harm. <laughs> No arms. We make. We, <laughs> no. Oh. Oh. We, um, we'll give you some arms if you want. Yeah, but, um, oh, what else was it? Um, and that—that that is that. That is yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, that is that. Um, okay, right, 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 right. There's some more. We faces with Grant. <laughs> faces yeah, with faces Grant. with Grant. He's not here, but uh, I'm sure we can still guess what his faces are. Faces, 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 and then we'll discuss the, the, well each face yeah. basically. So, All right, so uh, but, but I've what? just realised that we probably won't be you you know listening. You won't be able to see the faces that he's pulling, so which is quite important. Them. So I'm going to have to describe each face. Okay, right. This is the first face. This, you is, ready? this is the first face. You ready? Drum roll. <laughs> All right, do the first face. All right, this is the first face. That is a shit face. Okay, the face right now. He looks a bit. A bit like a lemon, a bit like a lemon with a slit in the front. If you've ever seen a banana when you write on it with a key and it comes up brown after a while, Sam's browning mouth is uh, is open like a banana cut slit. Oh, and uh, I couldn't hold that for he, he held his breath while he was doing it, um, which which gave him a, a look of tension, a sort of... Oh, oh, hang on, what do you have to say about that? Oh, uh, my face is uh, glorious and nice. It's a nice, glorious face. Okay, uh, I'll, right, I'll uh, do my face. Alright, go on, go on, go on. Okay. There it is. It's it's kind of the look that you might see an old man doing to a young oh, child uh, after he's stolen his pipe. And uh, that's, that's actually a freeze frame <laughs> of when the pipe has just been taken out of the mouth. <laughs> if you imagine a, a sideways mouth... Uh, Slightly 
elongated at the end. Okay. What, what, uh, would, you, what would you name uh, this face? Then? I would quite like to name it Shit Shit Grandpa. <laughs> shit Shit Grandpa. Oh my word, what have you done, Grandpa? <laughs> okay, one final face for Faces with Grant. Thanks. I'd like to just shout out uh, to Grant, Grant Morris here. Thanks very much for being for us you've always been here to support us fucking off on your own feature thank you very much see you later fucking die <laughs> um, okay Sam Sam final face final face final face, right, face of the day one more one more just for the for the, for the listeners why are you doing that I'm going to find my list yeah. okay go go right, go ready, face this, this one well, I'm putting the mic towards Sam I don't know why he's pulling a face okay do you want me to make a noise as well no, yeah, if you <laughs> Okay, um, I, I'd, I'd say this was similar to the face that Arnold Schwarzenegger pulls when he goes outside of the uh, the dome on Mars in, uh, in in that film, Total Recall. Uh, he's, he's, he's got his tongue out. He's got a bit of a melty look to him. The skin, the skin on his cheeks seems to be melting. It's not held together in any sort of solid composition. He does look like a melting man. So I, 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 I am I'd, I'd call this the melting man. Very, very, very well put. It's uh, and that, and that is and that. that's the end of Faces, that. faces, for faces with Grant. Grant, but Grant's not here, so we can't have him in the thing. Okay, should we go to our main feature? The music, I think. Oh, the music. Should we have the music? Okay. People want to hear the music. All right, let's do the music. All right, here we go. <laughs> have you ever realised our radio show is shit as fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Super shit. Yeah. But that's the way we like it. Okay, I just I just want to point out that right now we've 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 had some complaints from the listeners that that uh, our news in the form of the music is is not quite as in depth as it could be. It's, it com compared to other radio stations, our news sort of lacks in possibly most of the details, <laughs> which which is okay, I suppose. But but I think it's okay. But what you have to understand is that Sam doesn't know the news. He's not a news reader. I'm not. He's bas he's picked up his guitar right here, the same guitar that I used for the uh, Grant Face thing, and now he's looking at an app, and he's about to read the news. Okay, so, so now so it's, the, it's the music. Open your ears, <laughs> fuckers. <laughs> Open your fucking ears. Ah. Reikening winds are tense, opening rays. Madala celebrates her lovely face. Tottenham versus Fulham. I think Fulham won. Just giving donations, side crashes. <laughs> Rain stalls England's second test in the cricket. Eye tracking Samsung Galaxy unveiled. A gamer hacks Sim City to run offline. 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 And Reuters man on anonymous hack. North Korea says US behind the hack attack. Yeah! yeah. It rhymes. I love it when the news rhymes And that's the musical news For this week Oh, this, this episode, anyway That was wonderful, Sam Oh, thank you You have the voice of an angel And the body of Adonis <laughs> I'd like to get my My, um Next feature Up and running Hey <laughs> Okay So, uh Yeah So, Sam most of the time on this radio show, we address only jovial matters. There's no real, there's no real seriousness in what we talk about. But just every now and then, once in a while, we need to address more serious issues. And one that's plagued our consciousness recently is the issue of the loss of a friend, a friend oh, that yeah. we all knew and loved, and he's he's been in his garage working on this car for far, far too long now. We, it's we, we think it's, it's ridiculous. We think he'll never finish it. It's, it's his goal, it's his dream, aspiration. People need dreams. Dreams are good for you. But sometimes a 
dream becomes bigger than you. Sometimes a dream becomes an obsession. It consumes you. It chews you up. It spits you out. Sometimes you need a friend. Sometimes you need an intervention. 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 Welcome back. Welcome back. The uh, Jim, as if by magic, has just walked in the room. Magical. Um, Jim, uh, as, a, as a loyal listener, I assume that you have just heard the song we've just played on our radio I'll show. I've it in my car. I'm trying to build my car. Okay. And, <laughs> and, and, and oh, that is, that's dirty. That's dirty. So you came over here because you heard that song. Yeah, I was outraged. He's outraged. I was furious. I thought my friends were going to be there for me and support me when I'm working on it, but cunts. Well, oh, <laughs> you seem a bit up- upset by this, Jim. I mean, we, we were there for you. The reason we wrote, we, we, we made that was because we, we felt you needed our help. You needed an intervention. That's yeah. why we, we are there for you. Just sometimes you need to put things how they are. You can't, you can't be so too diplomatic. You can't We've, just uh, skirt around the edges of things. You I've got, I've say got it how it off is. that. We've got, we got a caller. Oh, we've got a caller. It's Jim, uh, Jim, hat, hold, hold. Uh, hello. Hello. How's it going? Who is this? Oh god, that was the best song ever. Oh, he liked it. Did you like the song? (laughs) (laughs) See, oh James. I'm outraged. Oh, God. Leave me alone. So, 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 Jim, this is an exclusive. Jim, would you like to speak to our listener here that seems to enjoy our song, where, where, where you don't enjoy it yourself? What, what do you have to say about this? Well, well, I thought my friends would be there for me in this hard time of pressure and struggle and skintness trying to build the car. But well, no. What do you feel about that caller? What do you have to say to Jim? Well, I just think Jim, like, like he, he's, he's chosen the car over friends, and I think, what is a car 
without friends. Exactly. It's a piece of yeah. metal. A piece of lifeless machinery. I but couldn't have put it better myself. But wait, wait, just think. When the cast goes, Actually, my friends can enjoy it. I just, I just realised something, though. If he does make the car and make it pretty good, he could get better friends. He could get be better friends? Yeah, better yeah. than these Is that your bastards. aim? Is that your aim, Jim? You, you... I thought these are my friends, I'm going to get better friends. You've, ri 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 you've <laughs> risen, a good point here. Ooh, car Jim, friend. Jim, are you, <laughs> are you <laughs> unhappy with us as friends and you, 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 you're trying to make this car to get better friends? Well, I wouldn't Purchasing be. I, I friends. wouldn't be if you were there supporting me, but obviously not. Just Spicingly. Uh, uh, so, sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, what's your name and where are you from, anyway, uh, listener? Hi, Nathan. I'm from a bed. I'm in a bed. You're in bed. I'm in, I'm in, a, I'm in, I'm in a hosp, but no, I'm not. As we I'm expect our listenership to be, uh, being in bed whilst listening to it shows suggests that you're doing nothing else except listening to our show. Yeah. It means you're concentrating. Was... You're not cycling. You're not walking somewhere, driving along, listening to our show. You're there. Fully concentrate into everything we say. That's what we want from our listeners. Exactly. Good work. Exactly. Thanks for being a great listener. Thanks for being a great listener. You're excellent. We're going to have to cut you off there. Okay. Need bye an bye. ad break. No Farewell. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, okay. Here we are. The next feature is Cookery with Neil. Yes. That's me. Cookery. Okay. So uh, everybody needs food to survive, usually. Um, if you don't eat, you're going to die. So I'm going to help you to basically survive. I'm helping my listeners to survive. That's what I'm here for. I'm here for you. It's, it's me and the listeners. We're out here, surviving, survivors. Surviving In a, in a barren desert that is the world. Um, so, a recipe that I, I've used what for many, for many years today, is, is how to turn a simple chicken, chicken's egg into a, a delicious morsel. A morsel? A morsel indeed. Wow. Uh, exactly. So, so um, I, I call it the scrambled eggs. Okay, you is can, that a new thing? It, well, uh, I don't think I've heard of that before. It's 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 revolutionary, is really, because it? you, basically you get an egg, a normal egg-shaped egg, an egg. What shape is an egg, Sam? I have no idea. I've never even seen one. It's an elliptical sphere. You can oh. check that up on the internet. Bloody hell! Um, I, 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 I'm really excited about how. What, what was it called again? An elliptical sphere. An elliptical sphere. I'm exactly. excited. Oh, I want to see one now. Well, uh, uh, James, do you reckon you can get an egg while we uh, do this feature so I can show Sam? Um, that would be, cool. be, be cool. Thanks, um, Jim. Okay, so what we do with these uh, elliptical spheres is we'll, we'll crack three of them. This is for one person. This is for one serving for one person. You're going to crack three of these elliptical spheres into a bowl. Yes. Um, make, make sure there's no shell in there. You just want the egg, the white and the yolk. Mm. Okay, then you want to get some salt and some pepper. Sprinkle some salt and some pepper into the bowl with the eggs. Then get about an egg cup's oh, oh. worth of milk. That we, is, we've got an egg We've here. got an egg. We've got here an, an egg in the studio. This is a, an exclusive this, first time on air. Do you know, this is, real my, egg. This, this is mind blowing to me because I've never seen an egg before in my life. Just you know, touch that on the mic. I'll touch egg. it on the mic. Look, you, you'll be able to hear it. <laughs> That's the sound of an egg. Okay, um, um, so, well. James, James has an interesting fact about an egg. I also have an interesting fact about an egg. James, would you like to speak to our listener? You're a bit well, sad. Well, the interesting now. fact is, if you squeeze an egg at the side, it will crack and go everywhere. Crack, and go everywhere. And a mischief and a mess. A mischief and a mess. If you squeeze it top to bottom, the shape of the egg is strong enough to support the weight of up to two ton, apparently. Two Bloody ton. Hell. As, 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 you, as, you can, as you can see, Samuel, and the listeners, and Jim, an egg, as an elliptical sphere, has an arch at both uh, both ends and an arch is the strongest shape in nature okay it's wow. it's, a, it's able to d divert downward force into outward force making it uh, super strong isn't uh, science that's fun just my fact. science is fun <laughs> so uh, another another I fact about eggs that uh, uh, this is turned into this is this is getting quite exciting yeah. sam this is this is a uh, this is extraordinary. <laughs> it's, it, it turned into an egg fact uh, excellent. factoid, <laughs> uh, excellently fast. Um, so so eggs, uh, a human egg, if unfertilized, comes out in a horrible mess. Uh, like, did you? Um, I call it the unspoken myself. <laughs> but um, but the, the, that that horrible mess is actually what a chicken's egg that we eat is. Oh. An egg, Sam, is a chicken's period. <laughs> Okay, back to the feature. That oh, turned yeah, dark yeah, yeah, very yeah, fast. That, that sorry, was, listeners, we didn't mean too much. We though. didn't mean to be too graphic, but sorry, sorry to get all what we have said is true, and you probably uh, consider yeah, that. It's next true. Time you eat it. So fuck off. Okay, three eggs in a bowl: salt, pepper, 
Stir it around with a fork. Whisk it, whisk it, whisk it, whisk it. When it bubbly, so you want your arms gonna fall off. Until your arms gonna fall off, possibly. Okay. Keep going. It it should it should make a sort of yellowy, um, an eggy sort of colour in the bowl. Once this has happened, get a knob of butter. Uh? A knob. Uh, uh, <laughs> knob. Get a knob of butter. Whack that in with it. Carry on whisking. Carry on whisking. Okay. Stop there. I'll stop you there. What we would do now is we put this in a pan, put it on the hob, uh, and 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 cook it whilst stirring. But not us. Not us, Sam. No, we don't do that shit. We don't do that fucking shit. We don't do any what of that shit. What we do shit. because we're hardcore men with. Out too much time on our hands. We yeah. put it in a microwave. Yeah. That's right, in a fucking microwave. Fucking nuke that shit. Microwaves were invented in World War Two when a when a, a, a in a radio tower in the south coast of England realised that his uh, I, I imagine his eggs were being cooked in his pocket while he was at work. It was actually a chocolate bar melted in his pocket. We put it in one of these microwave ovens. Um, we put it in this microwave oven for two minutes until the egg starts to become. Almost solidified. When that happens, we pull it out, whisk that shit up again, put it back in for 30 seconds. Repeat, 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 repeat. repeat. Eventually, do you know what you'll have, Sam? Scrambled eggs. Scrambled fucking eggs. Shit in hell. Welcome back. Um, behind us right now, there's a there's quite a graphic conversation going on between two of the people that aren't on air at the moment. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what, what have you ever heard? Now? I may quiz them about this. I may not. They're nodding, they're shaking their no, head, no, they're, they're shaking aggressively no. their head, they're saying no. It, oh, he doesn't want me to talk about that. Probably, I, I won't, I won't uh, talk about that. No, no. I'll save oh, you. Yeah. You can't say I'm not there for you, you fucker. Yeah. <laughs> now stop making your car. <laughs> I'll try! <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna, we're gonna finish now on uh, some very weird news indeed. Weird news? Weird news. It's not news, but weird. <laughs> Uh, we've, uh, I I've been scouring and scouring the earth for this news, uh, so I'm gonna start off with a, uh, with a nice one, if I can find a nice one. Do you wanna start off with a shit one then? You know, just to, just, just to, to grip our listeners' uh, interest? <laughs> ah, uh, a shit one. Do you want a shit one? I'd like a shit one, if you could. Parrot has to wear a jumper after eating his own feathers. What do you think about that? Oh, I don't think a parrot should have to, have, ever have to eat his own feathers. This actually happened. Right. Charlie the Parrot, that's his name, uh, is a head of fashion. I think I get this one. <laughs> I, I think you but, don't have to read this one out. With his hand-knitted jumpers. Oh, that's okay. What was that one about semen? <laughs> semen? Oh, uh, the, 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 uh, the guy... That's a bit dark. We won't speak about it. Right, uh... Shall we? No, we shouldn't. <laughs> Sam, you're causing radio silence here. You're dismay Barry. amongst our listeners. Don't worry about it. Right, Britt Barry is crowned tribal chief of an Indian village. Britt Barry is, is, is crowned Barry. tribal chief oh, of I an mean, Indian village. Can you imagine someone called Barry? Prince Barry. Who is, chief who Barry. is the chief of, of an Indian village. It's, it's preposterous. He, he, he's now known as King Bazza. What a load of pissing <laughs> shit. The tribal chief. Do you know what? That's really what, pissed me off. What an amazing guy. Oh, God. I, 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 I think he's good. He spent twenty thousand pounds. Oh sh! Oh shock fuck. horror. Okay, thanks for listening to another episode of Neil and Sam's Super Mega Radio Show. Please check us out on our new Facebook page. It's not been opened yet, but Sam's going to do it now because he's a technical god. Okay, um, it's going to be Neil and Sam's Super Mega Radio Show. Check it out on Facebook. <laughs> okay.